Uh, the member for Pascoe Vale. Thank you, Acting Speaker, and it's always a pleasure to follow the member for Narakan. Acting Speaker, I rise to support the Education and Training Reform Amendment Land Powers Bill 2023. The bill seeks to expand the state's powers to acquire and develop land for the purposes of providing early childhood education, care and other associated services as part of the government's best start, best life reforms. Specifically, the bill will amend the Act to expand the Minister's power to acquire land either by agreement or compulsorily, or to take on or grant other interests in land for the purpose of providing childhood education, care and certain other services, such as maternal and child health services, community spaces. And the bill will also expand the purposes of the Act as they relate to the acquisition, use and development land by the Minister and the provision of early childhood and associated services. The bill also expands the principles of the Act to recognise the importance of access to education during early childhood and support access to early childhood education where there may be currently insufficient provision. Acting Speaker, in my first speech to Parliament, I spoke about how I'm the proud product of our local public education system, having attended Coburg West Primary School. However, I was also one of the many children at that time, namely from non-English speaking background families, who simply were not in a position to afford, let alone understand, the benefits of sending their children to a local kinder. Today, as a local member and also as a local dad, I know just how much local families value the quality of our local kinders. Because it's local kinders that first shape and inspire the minds of future life chances of what we value and care for the most, children and young people. And that is why I'm so proud to be a member of the Allen Labor government that as a first priority and task has assembled a refreshed whole of government approach to supporting children and families. With the creation of new, the new Minister for Ch Children portfolio to be led by Ms Blanthorne in the other place, the Victorian Government will be bringing together Labor's best start and best life early childhood reforms and the state's ongoing improvements to our child protection system. When combined, the Victorian Government will be laying the foundation for a refreshed whole of government focus on child development and wellbeing, which will undoubtedly leave a lasting legacy for decades to come. In doing so, I'd like to also commend the uh, outstanding work of the previous Minister for Childhood and Pre-Prep, Ms Stitt, in the other place, particularly for the local record investments she's overseen across my municipality of Marybeck into local kinders, which I'll touch on through the substance of my contribution very shortly. Acting Speaker, with 90 per cent of a child's brain developing before the age of five, early education has a profound effect on the way our kids develop and their future life chances. If we're talking about early intervention to support young people, well, it doesn't get any early, earlier than early childhood education. That is why, as the new local member for Pascoval, Coburg and parts of Brunswick West, I'll be doing everything I can to support the rollout of Labor's free three- and four-year-old kinder across the community so that all local families and children will have the chance to access a quality local kinder, which will provide a range of other benefits for families, including children's cognitive, health and wellbeing development, which I've just touched on. Free kinder also helps support families with cost-of-living challenges and saves local families $2,500 a year. And free kinder also helps facilitate economic reform for women, particularly young mums, by encouraging women and young mums to re-enter the workforce through the increased provision of early childhood education for children. And Acting Speaker, driving these landmark benefits is the Victorian Labor government's record $14 billion commitment over the next dec decade to deliver best start, best life reforms, which includes continuing the rollout of funded three-year-old kindergarten. This investment means from this year, Free Kinder has commenced rolling out for all three and four-year-old children at participating services. A 15-hour per week program is being made available for four-year-old children and a five to 15-hour program is being made available for three-year-old children every week. This is a game-changing and nation-leading reform that signals the importance this government places on access to early childhood education programs for all children. Over the next decade, four-year-old kindergarten will also transition towards a new pre-prep model. Pre-prep will become a universal 30-hour-a-week program of play-based learning available to four-year-old children across the state. This will amount to a doubling of the educational opportunities available for children in their year before school. It will also mean children will have twice the amount of teacher-led play-based learning time to develop crit critical social, emotional and cognitive skills. This will be delivered through kindergartens and long daycare centres across the state, as well as early childhood facilities across my community in Marybeck. Because, of course, we know that implementing free kinder will also need to help support the construction of new kinders, upgrading of existing kinders and expansion of more kinder spaces, which this bill goes to the very heart of supporting. Acting Speaker, on the 22nd of August last year, I was so pleased to join with the Minister for Early Childhood and Pre-PEP to announce that the Victorian Labor Government would be investing a record $10.7 million towards 11 new and expanded kindergartens across the Marybeck municipality. As part of the new Building Blocks partnership with Marybeck City Council, our government's record local investment is proudly supporting the creation of an additional 329 new kinder places across the municipality by 2029. 
Local kinders being expanded and upgraded as part of this partnership include the Doris Blackburn Preschool, which received $1.35 million investment from the Labor government. I was so pleased to have celebrated recently the kinder's 80th birthday by officially opening the brand new and upgraded facilities alongside the minister recently on Sunday the 17th of September. The works provided for the installation of a new modern kindergarten building along the existing pre uh, existing building, effectively doubling the size of Doris Blackburn's footprint. The works also made provision for a magnificent new outdoor play area at the preschool, creating for more than an extra 40 kinder places for local children. Situated on the Shore Reserve Recreational Precinct alongside the West Coburg Footy Club, the kinder is really well placed halfway between the Pascoe South Primary School and Coburg West Primary School catchments and will continue to support the lifelong learning journey of local children and families for many years to come. I commend the Doris Blackburn Kinder community who put on a truly wonderful 80th birthday celebration which was very well attended by local families and I particularly pay tribute to the centre's president, Hadley Morrissey, the manager, Angela Favero, education leader, Pam Roberts and all of the Kinder's volunteers, teachers, families and children. Speaker, on the 14th of September just recently, I had the absolute pleasure of visiting the Derby Street Children's Centre in Pascaval to announce that the Victorian Labor government will be investing a record $1.5 million to expand the Kinder. The project will create 22 new kinder places with the expanded service to provide 75 kinder places overall for local children in a new modern and world-class learning facilities that local children deserve and that are close to home for families. It was a pleasure to visit and meet with Centre Assistant Director Julia Payne and I commend the work of all the families and parents over the years that have supported the uh, centre to deliver such wonderful outcomes for children. The upgraded Turner Street Kinder in Pascaval has also been allocated $500,000. Uh, it's the kinder where my children went to, my two daughters, Raphael and Cleopatra, and it's currently under reconstruction with upgrades uh, almost uh, now completed. The investment is delivering a new kitchen, lunchroom, bathroom and refurbished spaces for children, which will provide for an eight additional kinder places from 2024 from next year. A further $400,000 is supporting the expansion of the Pascoville Community Centre Kindergarten with works to deliver 40 new kinder places from early 2025. Speaker, on the 10th of May, I was also very pleased to have attended the official opening of the new and upgraded St Linus Kindergarten in Merlinston, North Coburg. First opened over 60 years ago, the $493,000 in upgrades that we've invested in have helped turn St Linus Kinder into one of the most modern uh, kinders in the whole area with a new foyer, an entry, a new a children's kitchen, new children's spaces, a meeting room for staff, storage room uh, and new toilets. I pay tribute to the parish priest, Robert Corren, uh, president of the Parents Advisory Committee, Tim Erickson, president of the Kinder Committee, Judy Fenner, and Kinder Committee Church Warden, Avril Slater. She has been a magnificent you know, worker for the, the St Linus community for so many decades. She really has been the driver of this upgrade, and I really pay tribute to her. Uh, and I also, of course, commend all of the teachers, families, and children for making that project possible. On the 1st of May this year, speak, I was also very pleased to have written to the President of the Shirley Robertson's Children's Centre, Susan Bird, and the Director, Tina Papa, to advise them that they had been successful in being allocated $154,000 through the Building Blocks Inclusion Grant Program, which will support the replacement of verandas on the three- and four-year-old kinder rooms, which will bring in more natural lighting to the rooms and support more sensory and outdoor learning as well for the children. Overall, this is an amazing partnership between the Victorian Labor Government and the Mary Beck Council. That is the entire building box partnership for my municipality, which is creating more kinder places across the Mary Beck community and will provide for a pipeline of local kinder upgrades over coming years, giving families certainty. However, I am sad to report that while the Victorian Labor Government committed to several of these landmark local kinder investments way back in August 2022, the then Liberal opposition and the then Liberal candidate remained absolutely silent on all of these commitments. They didn't come out to match the commitments, they didn't come out to support the commitments, and the Liberals did not make any other local kinder commitments in any way, shape or form. In other words, if the Liberals had been elected in November in 2022, these very kinder upgrades across Marybeck, which are now underway, would simply not be happening. No free kinder, no upgraded kinders and no expanded kinders. In contrast, I'm proud to be here as part of a Labor government supporting expanded rollout of free kinder and the new facilities in my community. But of course, there's always more to do, Speaker, and that's why this bill is so critical because it will provide the government with a pathway forward to help identify and ascertain land in coming years to deliver more kinder places across the state and also across Marybeck if need be. The bill expands the current education focus powers in the Act to acquire and develop land to include purposes related to the provision of early childhood education. The purposes of the Act are currently limited to the provision of education and training to adults and children of school age. That is, references to education training in the Act are limited to school-based education, vocational education and higher education. 
Uh, speaker, in summing up and concluding, I commend this bill to the House. It's an absolutely tremendous bill that continues the work of uh, Best Life, Best Start, and I'm proud to be part of this government delivering it.